All right, it's time for this week's Pin Worthy Pin, where we head to Pinterest and we test out pins to see if we can nail it or fail it. And this week I found a pin for DIY baby wipes. So we're gonna click on it and see what we can learn comes from the Blue House blog, and she says she started making her own baby wipes over store-bought ones because she's cheap and because she wants to avoid all of those chemicals and cancer-causing junk, in her words, um, that are in the baby products you can buy at the store. So it looks pretty simple. Um, she uses some coconut oil, some baby wash water, paper towels, and a container, and then she says she throws in tea tree oil to prevent mildew from growing. She says it's very easy. Um, you have to use Bounty, so I, I picked some of those up, and um, we'll see if we can make it work. And then I've actually got a baby bum to try it out on. So let's go, let's go start uh, making some pin-worthy pins. So we've made our way into the CI kitchen to make our DIY baby wipes. And we've got all of our ingredients here. We've got our roll of paper towels that I have cut into thirds. She says cut it into half and use a 12 cup container. I'm just modifying it a little bit with cutting it into thirds and using a seven cup container. So I'm gonna put my paper towel roll in the container. I've already melted, or sorry, dissolved two tablespoons of coconut oil into my water, and then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of some baby wash. And she recommended Burt's Bees because it doesn't have any of those harmful chemicals or parabens or all that that we're trying to avoid in regular store-bought baby wipes, which is the whole point of making your own. So we're gonna put two tablespoons of baby wash in there. We'll mix that up as well as about four drops of tea tree oil. And the reason that you're supposed to put tea tree oil in it is to avoid mildew or mold gathering on your baby wipes because I don't think you want that in there. So I'll just put four little drops of this stuff in there. One, two, three, four. Tea tree oil is really good for um, I guess if you're trying to keep mosquitoes away or maybe um, head lice, I've heard you can put a little bit of that into some spray, maybe some detangler and you're good to go. So we're gonna mix that up and pour it over our paper towels. And then that cardboard in the center should loosen up and um, it should be able to just pour right out. Oh, I'm so anxious to see if this is gonna work. Okay. Oh. All right, we're gonna seal it up. And now we're gonna head to my friend Melinda's house who just had a baby in December. She's so graciously agreed to let me borrow her baby's bum that we can try these homemade baby wipes out on. So let's go ahead to Melinda's house. Okay, so it's time now to put our do-it-yourself baby wipes to the test. And I headed over to my friend Melinda's house and I've got AJ and she's holding Andy, newborn Andy. And you've got two bums actually that could benefit from using these wipes. Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a little recap of what went into these. What do you think, AJ? I want. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what went into these, we put a paper towel roll in, we put some water, some coconut oil, a little bit of baby wash, Burt's Bees, because it doesn't have any of those harmful chemicals in it, and um, a little bit of tea tree oil to prevent mildew and mold from growing on these wipes. So we've got to open it up. Are you ready? We're gonna open this up. I'm gonna put you down, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> because it said after you let it sit for a little bit that the, um, the cardboard would pull right out. So okay. let's move this over here. And we're gonna see if that is true. Because it, it said let it sit for about three to four minutes and that this should pull right out. Well, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep trying. Oh, okay, that, that came out pretty easily. And then you're supposed to, um, let me just throw that over here. <laughs> and you're just supposed to pull it from the center. They said to use Bounty, okay. so that's what we're testing. And you just pull it out through the center like a, a normal wipe. And these okay. are select a size, so hopefully these are just the right size. Look, AJ's got it figured <laughs> out. See? Do you think you would like mom to use these on your booty? Yeah? Okay, we're going to let, I'm not sure if any of them are... Uh, Soiled, Andy, Andy. but but we can try it out and um, see how it goes. Okay? okay, so we're not gonna like, you know, get it up in his business, but we're okay. gonna let we're gonna let you try it out. Okay? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. 
how are you feeling now that you're all nice and clean? <laughs> oh, that good? Okay. All right, so now it's, the it's time for the real test. Are these um, a win or should we fail them? I would say fail them only because they're um. kind of small. They kind of left suds on his bum. Mm. So... I'm so sorry about that. So I think maybe the reason they were small, if we look here, I did the um, select a size, and I cut the paper towel into thirds. That was probably a mistake. Okay. So I think maybe if you are trying, stick to the actual directions and only cut it in half. But it was so it was the big the container was so big. But now the suds part, I'm not sure how how you could fix that. Maybe just decrease the amount of baby wash. I used two tablespoons. Maybe try one. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, AJ over here is enjoying playing with them. Yeah. So, but, and obviously you wouldn't put this in your diaper bag. No, it'd be awfully big to carry around with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so these I think we're going to have to fail, but um, maybe try them on your own and let me know what you think. If you have a pin that you want to see if it's pin worthy or not, definitely shoot me an email, hrobbers at wca.com, and I would love to test your pin.